Hi Hoopers, our next trick in this series is going to be a pizza pass or a halo pass. It looks like this. Let's break it down. So to start this trick, this is another one that I really think makes so much more sense if we try it with our hoop on the ground. So go ahead and drop your hoops. And what I like to tell my students is to imagine we've got pizzas in our hand. That's why I like to call it the pizza pass. So what happens if we had a pizza in our hand and we flipped our hand? We would lose all of our pizza. Our pizza would hit the ground cheese first. We do not want that to happen. So make sure your palms stay face up for this entire trick. There is never a part of this trick in which our palms need to flip. So if you keep that in mind that you don't wanna drop your pizza, you should have a lot easier time with this trick. So we're gonna start with our pizza in the front, okay? I'm going to make a big circle with my left hand, okay? It doesn't matter if you're right-handed or left-handed for this one. So we're just gonna start in our left hand. We're going to scoop our pizza around and it's gonna make a circle over our head. Notice my palm is still facing up. This is a bit of a weird position, but stick with me. Keep it up as best as you can. You may need to pivot your body and then bring your hand around to the back. So I bet you can guess, but my hand is palm up in the back. I'll show you from a different angle in a moment. Stick with me. Put your palm up in the back to pass the hoop. Now that palm up will swing around. We'll make a big circle over our head and back down, palms up in the front. Palm up, scoop, palm up. Pass, palm up in the back, scoop. Okay, so this is what's happening. I'll show you from the back. Scoop to the front, switch, scoop to the back, switch. So all the way around. Now let's try it with a hoop. Okay, so as you remember, we started with the hoop in front of us, palms up. Now the hoop, when we're doing the slow, is gonna wanna naturally droop down to the ground. That's okay while we're learning. As we begin to speed this one up, the hoop will naturally flatten out with some momentum. So don't worry too much about trying to keep the hoop flat. Just worry about getting your hand positions right. So starting palms up, we're going to scoop the hoop around. We're gonna do this big scoop with our hand. The hoop will go around our head and we'll pass it off behind us, thumb to thumb in the back. Scoop it up and around, pass it to the front. Up and around, pass it to the back and continue and notice as I speed it up, the hoop will naturally flatten out. I'll show you from the side. So notice at the beginning of this tutorial, I gave you the name pizza pass or halo pass. Halo pass refers to the variation I'm gonna show you. The back of the trick will look the same, We'll start the trick the same, but after we get it going, we'll end up doing the rotation and the pass off above our head. I'll show you what that one looks like. And then we'll break it down. So start the same as we started with our pizza pass, hoop in front of us, pinky to pinky, palms facing the sky. We're gonna draw that first big circle above our head, bring it to the back of us that second big circle above our head, but instead of swinging down to the front, we're gonna stay palm up. We're just going to swing from the back, palm up, and we're gonna swing around and stay at the top of our head. I'm gonna take my wrist and rotate it to the back of the room, and I will pass off at the top. So I'm pinky to pinky at the top, and if you want, you could do a few passes here. Right, this is very similar to the move we did in our scissor kick tutorial. So it's very similar to this move with our hands. I'm just doing it above my head. So keep that in mind and we'll try it again. Fingertips wiggling towards the sky, pinky to pinky, standard pizza pass, standard pizza pass, and this is where we change. So we can do a few rotations and then pass off.
or we can do just one rotation by passing pinky to pinky. Let's take a look at that one from the back. So let's take a look at all of those variations. We've got a standard pizza pass where we pass in front of us. Then we've got the halo pass. And we can do a few rotations or just one rotation passing at the top. And that looks like this. So some troubleshooting with this is if you accidentally grab your hoop palm facing down. So what I mean by that is say your pizza pass is going great and all of the sudden you grab down. Okay, so we know for a pizza pass we need to grab thumb to thumb. But for standard passing we need to grab down. So if you find yourself accidentally grabbing down, try just throwing a few standard passings in and then correct by grabbing palm up. Some other issues you might run into with this trick is just gripping your hoop too tight. You do need to find the sweet spot of too tight and too loose. Too tight, you won't be able to rotate the hoop inside of your hand and you'll get like these nasty calluses and it just won't be very comfortable. But if you have it too loose and you're using too much of the fingertips, it's pretty likely your hoop is going to go flying. So it takes a bit of practice to find that sweet spot, but you'll get it. <laughs>